Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the second intermediate grade. For the first semester of this year, our subject is the English language from the book Super Goal 3. Our lesson for today is Unit 3, Who's Who. This is the third part we have today, reading, writing, form, meaning, and function. This whole presentation is prepared and it will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani. So, first of all, thank you very much all of you for being with me. It's a pleasure to have a brilliant student like you. The second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book for today is Super Goal 3. Okay, this is the book that we will discuss now, Super Goal 3. The third thing, I want to ask you something. Are you ready to begin our lesson? Everyone, are you ready? Excellent, let's go. First of all, today we will learn, number one, reading about jobs. Number two, writing about jobs also. Number three, use connectors with writing. Number four, relative pronouns, who, that, and which. First of all, we have eight reading, so we will continue with this unit. Reading, we have reading today. Before reading, look at the title and subtitles. What kind of jobs do you think the two people have? Okay, so let's see the title and the subtitle. So the title, the main title is my kind of job. My kind of job. Okay, the subtitle, the first subtitle, aboard a cruise ship. Aboard a cruise ship. The second one, the second subtitle is The World of Design and Comfort. The World of Design and Comfort. So, what do you think? What is the title or what is the text about? What do you think? It's about jobs, exactly. About jobs and two kinds of jobs. Okay, so what do you think? The first person, what kind of job that he has? What kind of job that he has? What do you think? Look at the picture, the subtitle. What do you think? Excellent. So he works in a ship. Maybe he's a captain or something. So he works in a ship. Very nice. Excellent. What about the second one? What can you see? This man is looking to this small chair. And we have tables, chairs, okay, couches and these things. So what do you think? What kind of job that he has? And the type, subtitle is The World of Design and Comfort. So I think his job is designing comfortable furniture. Designing furniture. Yes, exactly. Excellent. So now we want to listen. Let's listen together to the two uh, men or the two passages. And we will get back together to do some questions. Okay. Listen, everyone. 8. Reading. My kind of job. Aboard a cruise ship. Martin Michaels has a university degree in public relations, and now he is a social director on a cruise ship. He visits many scenic ports and meets lots of fascinating people. Martin is a highly motivated, energetic, outgoing, and friendly person. On the ship, Martin works seven days a week. 8 to 14 hours a day. His job is to provide social activities for passengers. He is also responsible for ensuring that passengers have a positive view of the cruise line and its services. He helps to organize all kinds of events, such as sports activities and excursions at the ports they visit. Martin likes to work with the public, but one negative thing about the job is that crew members do not have any free time for themselves. The World of Design and Comfort Guy Legrand is a furniture designer. He creates comfortable modern furniture for a famous brand and he plans the production and marketing of his creations. Guy specializes in living room and dining room furniture. He sketches his ideas, designs chairs and tables, selects materials and fabrics, supervises the making of the furniture, 
and arranges showings of his collections for buyers. He needs to be up to date with the latest trends, so he reads interior design magazines and attends trade shows. But he also uses his own imagination and his sense of style and fun for his designs. Sometimes he designs furniture for popular restaurants and hotels to get publicity for his brand. Very nice. This is the reading. It's about as we said, two men and two kind of jobs, okay? Very nice, let's go to the next. Let's see what we have. We have an evaluation after reading. Question number one, list the good and bad things about Martin's job. So what do you think? What is the good and bad things about Martin's job? The good and the bad. And we are talking about Martin, Martin's job. Okay, let's go back. So what do you think? What is the good things? Let's start with the good things. Okay, very nice. This is the first one. He visits many scenic, spo uh, sorry, scenic ports and meets lots of fascinating people. Okay, so this is one of the good things that Martin has. Okay, let's start with the bad things. So what do you think? What is the bad thing about Martin's job? Okay, what do you think? What is the bad thing? Take a look. Search for the answer. Okay, I think you found it. Okay, but one negative thing about the job is that crew members do not have any free time. He doesn't have any free time for himself or for themselves if you are talking about the whole crew. Okay? Excellent. Very nice. This is the first, the first question. Okay. Number two. Describe Guy's job. Describe Guy's job. He's the second one. Guy. This is Guy Lagrand. Okay? What do you think? Describe his job. What is his job? Take a look. What is he doing in his job? Describe it. Excellent, this one. He creates comfortable modern furniture for a famous brand. Excellent, you can say also, maybe you can add this one. And he plans the production and marketing of his creations. Okay, excellent, this is the second question. So as we said, the first one, the good things, he visits many scenic ports and meets lots of fascinating people. Okay, Martin likes to work with the public also. The good thing, he works with the public and this is a good thing for him. Okay, number two, or the second part, the bad thing, he works seven days a week, eight to 14 hours a day. He doesn't have any free time for himself. Excellent, the same answer that you gave me, beautiful. Number two, what about the description? He creates comfortable modern furniture for a famous brand and plans production and marketing. Also, you can add, he sketches his ideas, designs chairs and tables, selects materials and fabrics, supervises the, mar the making of the furniture and arranges showings of his collection for buyers. So he does all these things. He should do it at his work, okay? Very nice. Okay, now let's go to the writing. We have writing now. A, what do you want to be? Write the job in the chart below. Make a list of good things and bad things about the job, about the job that you choose, okay? Use your notes to tell a partner about the job and compare ideas. Remember to write keywords only when you make notes, okay? You have to write keywords, not the whole sentence, not the full sentence, keywords, just one or maybe two words, one or maybe two words, okay? So let's do it together, you know? I will do it here in this table and you will do it in your book, okay? Are you agree with that? Very nice. So. What about you? What is the job that you like? If you want me to start, I will say, 
Mm, the job. I know that I'm a teacher now, but if you ask me a few years ago, I will say the job that I want to be is a businessman. I want to be a businessman, okay? What about you? Tell me, what do you want to be? You want to be a, a pilot, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a soldier, whatever you want to be. Tell me. And write it here, okay? Write it here. Very nice. Have you finished? Excellent. Okay. Let's go to the good things. Good things. For example, for me, the good things of being businessman, the good things of being businessman is, let's say, number one, more money. Can you see it? I didn't make false sentence, not a whole sentence. No, just keywords, one or two words, more money. This is enough. It's understood. I can get more money if I am a businessman, if I am a businessman, okay? More money. The second good thing, that is free time, free, sorry, free work, free work. I have to work whatever I want to work. I have to do whatever I want to do. Uh, it's up to me. It's up to me, okay? No one will say do this and do that. No, I have to do it by myself, for myself also. Okay, this is the second thing. I have only two good things. Okay, what about you? I want you to write the good things about your job here. This is the first one, the second, and if you have the third, write it. Okay, I want you to write more than one. If you can do it two or three, it's okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go to the bad things. The bad things. For me, the bad things for being a businessman is income change. Okay, income change. Can you see it? It's a key word. Small word, small sentence. The income change. So, for example, for example, this month, maybe I will get 5,000, 10,000, maybe 15,000. But the next month, maybe I will not get anything. Maybe I will get 1,000 only. So, I have to deal with this. 1,000 or 2 or none. Okay, so there there will be a change. There will be a change. So this is a bad thing. It's not the same. It's not the same every month you will get five or ten, for example. No, it's changed. Some of the months you will get maybe nothing, maybe one or two thousand. Okay, what about you? What is the bad things about being the job that you wrote? What is the bad things? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I have only just one. If you have two or three, it will be better. It will be beautiful. Okay, so I gave you example. Just one, one example. Excellent. Let's go to the next. So, right in corner. If you want, if, if we want to write now, if you want to start writing, we have to know these three things. Let's see. We have to use them. Number one, use and. Can you see and? This is and. Use and to connect words and ideas which are similar for example guy specializes in living room and dining room furniture so guy specializes in living room and guy specializes in dining room furniture so we used and and we put them together in one sentence so this one is one sentence this is one sentence okay so it's the same he can do living rooms and he can do dining rooms. So it's the same, same idea. Okay, it's similar ideas. Number two, use but. This is but, can you see it? To connect contrasting ideas, different ideas. Okay, different, it's different. It's not, not the same idea. The same idea, we use and. Not the same idea, we use but. Let's see, there's an example. Martin likes working on ships. This is the first idea, okay? The contrasting idea, the other idea is, the different idea is, but he doesn't like. Mm, this is very important. This one likes, doesn't like. Likes, doesn't like. So it's not the same. But he doesn't like working every day of the week. 
Number three, use because. Can you see because? Use because to give a reason for something. Reason for something. For example, Martin's job is very exciting. Okay, it's exciting. Why? Why it's exciting? Because he travels all over the world. Okay, this is the reason. Can you see it? Very nice. So you have to use and, but, and because. You have to use these three. B. Read the text. What does this person want to be? Underline the words or phrases that describe the good things about the job. Circle the words or phrases that describe the bad things. So, the good things, we have to underline. Underline the good things. Circle the bad things. Circle the bad things. Let's see. Listen, everyone. I enjoy asking questions and I love writing stories. I want to be a newspaper journalist. Writing for a newspaper is a good job because it's fun and very exciting. Journalists often need to travel to new places to discover stories. They see a lot of the world and they meet new people every day. The bad side is that this job can be very stressful and difficult because journalists have a lot of deadlines. A person needs to be very smart to be a journalist, but I think it's a very interesting and satisfying job. Okay, this is the small paragraph that we have. So what do you think? What is the job that he wants to be? What is the job that he likes, that he wants to be? What do you think? A journalist. Excellent. I want to be a newspaper journalist. So he wants to be a newspaper journalist or you can say journalist. Beautiful. Okay. The second thing. Underline the words or phrases that describe the good things about the job. So let's underline. What do you think? What is the first thing that we consider is a good thing? What is the first good thing about this job? About being a journalist. What is it? Excellent. It's fun and very exciting. So we underline this one. The other good thing, the other good thing is to see a lot of the world. Okay, you can see a lot of the world. This is another thing, another good thing. Okay, very nice. Let's go to the next. The third part, circle. The words or phrases that describe the bad things. So we will make a circle, not underline, circle, the bad things. What do you think? What is the bad thing? What is the bad thing about being a journalist? Take a look. What is the bad side? Can you, can you find the word bad side? Excellent. It's stressful and difficult. Okay, it's a stressful and difficult. This is the bad thing about being a journalist. Okay, very nice, excellent. Let's go to the next. C, write about your dream job, say what you want to be, write about the good things and the bad things, use your notes from the chart and words and phrases from this unit, use the connectors and but and because. Okay, so first of all, I want you to write, when we finish the lesson, when we finish, after we finish this lesson, I want you to write about your dream job, your dream job, the job that you want to be. Okay, write about it. Say what you want to be. What do you want to be? Okay, why do you want to be uh, in this job? Write about the good things. Very nice, write about the good things. The first good thing is... The second thing, the third, more things, okay, that you consider is a good. And write about the bad things also. What is bad about the, this job? Okay. Next, use the notes from the chart, the notes that we wrote before. Do you want me to go back to show you? This one. Okay, let me go back. Yeah, this one. Okay, your chart, not mine. This is mine. I want you to write about yours. Okay. Excellent. 
Okay, the last thing, the last thing, or you can use uh, any words or phrase, uh, phrases from this unit, any words or phrases. Use the connectors. Don't forget to use the for connectors and but and because and for the same ideas, but for the different ideas, because for reasons. Okay, for the reason, to get the reason, to talk about the reason. Okay, so when we finish this lesson, I want you to start writing. Excellent. 11. For meaning and function. For meaning and function. So now we will talk about related pronouns. Who, that, and which. So, what do we mean by related pronouns? What is related pronouns? Relative clauses add information about a noun in the main clause. So, it adds more information. To add more information, we have to use related pronouns, who, that, and which. Okay, so, for example, use the related pronoun who or that for people. Mm, this is very important. Can you see it? Who or that for people. Don't forget. Use the related pronoun that or which for things and animals. This is very important. That or which for things and animals. Remember that, okay? For people, we should use who or that. But with things or and animals, we should use that or which. So this that is the same as this. So that you can use it. That you can use it with people, things, and animals. But who you should use it with people, which you should use it with things and animals only. Okay, understood? Let's take an example. For example, the waiter is serving the customers. He is friendly. So we add an information. It's more information. So we have to say the waiter who or that waiter is people. You know the waiter? Of course we know him. He's one of the people. So we have to say who or that who or that is serving the customers is friendly. Okay, this is relative clause. Can you see it? This whole sentence, we call it relative clause. My uncle works in a factory. The factory makes cars. Okay, my uncle works in a factory. So we are talking about a factory. A factory. It's thing. It's not people. It's a thing. Okay, so we have to say a factory that or which makes cars. Okay, very nice. Complete the sentences with who or which. Oh, this is very important. So when we have people, we have to use who. When we have animal or thing, we have to use which. Number one, the neighbor lives downstairs is a chef. This is the chef. So what do you think? We are talking about a neighbor. My neighbor. He's a people. He's one of the people. He's a person. He's one of the people. He's a person. So we have to say who. Excellent. Very nice. Number two. Is English a language? Is easy to learn? We are talking about English language. English language. It's not a person. It's not one of the people. We cannot consider it as people. So what should we say? Which? Excellent. Would you like a job? We're talking about a job. Has a large salary. Which? A job? It's think. So we have to say which. My brother works in a store sells furniture so listen we are now talking about the store not my brother my brother works in a store so i'm talking about the store sells furniture the store sells furniture so what should we say which excellent the salesperson 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 helped me was very friendly was very friendly. Who? Oh, excellent. He's a person. Salesperson. Number six, the actor. The 
actor is playing the lead role is very funny is very funny so what about the actor he's one of the people he's a person who oh, excellent he works for a construction company builds roads and bridges so who builds roads and bridges the company we're talking about construction company okay what do you think which excellent eight the graphic designer made this advertisement is very creative graphic designer just like the writer just like the teacher just like the pilot graphic designer it's a job a job for a man for a woman for a person who oh, excellent who oh, beautiful next complete the sentences with your own ideas i like people who are so what do you think you like people who are what helping each other for example or you can say i like people who are polite and friendly polite and friendly it's a beautiful thing beautiful people that they they are polite and friendly number two i don't like people that are i don't like people that are that are what you don't like people what do you think your own idea your own sentence your own opinion i don't like people that are impolite excellent we said here polite it's a good thing and impolite it's a bad thing the opposite it's the opposite okay number three i like books which are i like books which are which are useful for example which are easy to read for example which are exciting beautiful i don't like books that are you don't like books that are difficult to read not exciting boring i don't like books that are boring yeah exactly okay number five i want a job which is i want a job which is which is what mm -hmm. which is satisfying for example which is safe for example which has for example a high salary for example okay i don't want a job that is i don't want a job that is that is what what do you think that is stressful stressful i don't like the job that is stressful okay excellent okay so today we learned reading about jobs writing about jobs of course we talked a lot about jobs use connectors with writing connectors when i say connectors i mean and but and because and but because uh, related pronouns who that and which so this is the end of our lesson thank you very much all of you for being with me this is sultan shahrani i hope i see you next time goodbye everyone